Welcome to Tech Simplar Studios. So, is Mac OS X All Capitan obsolete today? Starting off with its web browsing abilities, both the latest version of Chrome and Firefox work in All Capitan. You can visit any website as you normally would, or you can check out some of my other tech videos. I have a whole series on if older versions of Mac OS X are obsolete today. Anyways, back to the video. The latest version of Chrome actually only requires 10.10 .10 Yosemite, and the latest version of Firefox even works on 10.9 Mavericks. However, El Capitan itself hasn't received any security updates since the fall of 2018, so even if you are running an up-to-date browser, your data may still not be as secure as it could be, and your computer will still not be as protected against malware as it could be. And with the operating system being out of support for multiple years now, it surely won't be too long before Chrome, Firefox, and other browsers stop supporting El Capitan as well. The built-in Safari does work for the most part, but shouldn't be used, as it has also not received any updates since the fall of 2018. If both your browser and your operating system are unsupported, let me just say that's not a good idea if you use that computer daily. Now on to productivity. Neither the Office 2019 suite nor the latest version of Microsoft 365 work on El Capitan, and the same goes with the latest version of Apple's iWork apps such as Pages, Numbers, and Keynote. If you do need to use Office, you can still download and use the full Office 2016 suite though, and likewise, you can also download older versions of Apple's apps. Better yet though, both the latest versions of LibreOffice and OpenOffice also work on El Capitan, with LibreOffice requiring 10.10 .10 Yosemite, and OpenOffice working just fine on 10.7 Lion. So fear not, if you're on El Capitan and just need to do Office work, it'll have you covered for a while. But how about popular apps? Slack, Spotify, and Zoom work for sure, but the latest version of most other popular Mac apps you may want to use just won't. And in terms of resource-intensive productivity apps? Practically none of Adobe's Creative Cloud suite works in El Capitan, as Creative Cloud apps generally require recent versions of macOS, and the latest version of Blender won't run either. Neither will the latest version of Apple's Pro apps such as Final Cut Pro 10, Logic Pro 10, or really any Apple-made apps. But what about gaming? Minecraft works just fine, as do a limited number of other modern games like Subnautica Below Zero, Civilization VI, and War Thunder. The Steam client itself works fine as well. But while these specific games work, most other new games require a newer version of macOS. For example, Dirt Rally, Dirt 4, and even Fortnite just refuse to launch. Chances are, if a new game comes out for Mac, it won't support El Capitan anymore. Many of the newer App Store games don't work in El Capitan either, but of course, there's nothing wrong with playing older games or even playing some of the older App Store titles. You can't go wrong with classics like RC Mini Racers, Ice Driver, and Extreme Road Trip 2. Simple games, but they're fun for hours. So, as long as you're okay with using older versions of most software and playing older games for the most part, El Capitan is still a great operating system to use. That being said, if you plan to use the internet for any type of secure transactions, I'd recommend that you upgrade to at least an actively supported version of macOS, which is any of the three most recent releases, or that you get a computer that can, if yours can't. If you can upgrade though, there's really no reason not to, except for the fact that it may break compatibility with a very small number of older applications. You'll receive new features, much better compatibility overall, and a much more secure experience. If you want to see my collection of videos where I test if various operating systems and pieces of tech are obsolete, check out my playlist in the card at the top right. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Like this video if it helped you, and subscribe for more tech videos like this. Also, don't forget to check out my automotive channel, Tech Simplar Garage. See you all in the next video.